Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the Markham Microcap Conference at the Grand Hyatt in New York City. I have with me Gerald Commission of Amaranthus Biosciences Symbol, AMBS. It's a publicly traded company. Gerald, welcome back to SNN Live. Thanks for having me, Shelley. It's good to have you. Okay, we need an update. Please. Uh, well, since the last time we uh, interviewed, I think it was about last year this time, a lot of things have happened. Uh, we've gotten some really interesting data, successful data with our uh, Parkinson's program. So we've uh, now shown a clear distinction between our drug and another drug candidate in the category called GDNF that uh, looks very promising. So we feel as though that's big. Uh, we were able to re-innervate uh, certain areas of the brain that become dysfunctional. Uh, that's clear. Uh, another thing that we've been able to do is we in-licensed a Alzheimer's diagnostic by the name of Limpro. And this is important because this could be the world's first blood-based test for Alzheimer's disease that will definitively help people diagnose Alzheimer's as well as help drug companies perform better clinical trials for their drug products. So we think this is a huge market opportunity in excess of $500 million uh, for this product. Well, early diagnosis, how could you beat that? Well, you know, it's, you can. Uh, and, you know, everything at the FDA, uh, all, the company, all the drug companies, and even recent clinical trials of uh, not the same compounds, but related compounds with gene therapies have shown things work better in earlier patients. So. What we think is, you know, we're going to use our expertise in CNS, we're going to develop these products, and in developing the diagnostics, it's going to fuel our therapeutics category. You know, there's absolutely no question that the whole world is affected by the treatment of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and there's no treatment. There's a lack of of treatment. There's a lack of diagnosis. A lot of the diagnoses are too late. Am I correct? Absolutely. You know, the way we look at this at Amaranthus is we're in a very similar place in the brain treatments as we were in cancer treatments 20 years ago. And because of that, uh, you know, there have been a lot of failures, but they weren't failures in the sense that nothing was learned from them. You know, we're now at the stage where a lot of failures have occurred. We're starting to understand why those failures happened. We're developing better tools to address the problems and move forward. And, and we feel that Amaranthus is right in the middle of that entire purview. I think it's good that you have diagnoses. Once you have that, that usually gives birth to treatment. Am I correct? Absolutely, because it's very difficult. I mean, I've been right a couple of times here. I just want to share that. Right, it's absolutely. It's very difficult. Uh, for physicians to really move forward with various treatment modalities given that there's always an uncertainty of what a patient actually has. And it's very difficult for researchers to develop treatments without really knowing what they're dealing with on the uh, physician side. So definitely diagnostics are, are preludes to treatments and the more success we have in developing diagnostics we're going to have much greater success in helping patients which is all that matters. Most importantly, I want you to give out your website because the information that you are going to be presenting on your website could be of concern to so many people out there. Right. Uh, this website is www.amaranthus.com. Uh, on the website, we have two white papers, one about our MAMF protein therapeutic, which is primarily being developed for Parkinson's, and one about our LIMPRO uh, diagnostic, which is being developed for Alzheimer's. Ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Commission, Amaranthus Bioscience, AMBS, a publicly traded company. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the Markham Microcap Conference at the Grand Hyatt in New York City. Gerald, it's always a pleasure to see you. I wish you more luck than there possibly could be. Thank I really you very mean much. it. Thank you very much, Shelley.